So it's been a lively start to the season. Controversy has followed Arsenal at almost every single turn, following Declan Rice's sending off as Every Arsenal fan will never forget that. Every newspaper, TV channel and former ref were seemingly talking about the letter of the law. But hey, you know, bad publicity is still publicity, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone is talking about Arsenal. And obviously Arsenal's tactics have been questioned and described as not worthy of champions after incredible defensive displays at Spurs and the Etihad. And that's not mentioning the dark arts narrative which consumed every media phone-in and Sky Sports YouTube discussion show. And then even recently, The Athletic published an article asking why it's right that Leandro Trossard featured in the next Premier League match despite rules that have been in place since literally anyone can remember. So, what did we do? We asked our fans, are the Premier League rattled by Arsenal? Yes, guys, I'm outside the Emirates for Arsenal v PSG, huge Champions League game, and I'm asking the Gooners, why is the Premier League so rattled? So we're asking Arsenal fans, Adam, why are Premier League fans so rattled by Arsenal? Because we're, we're moving on up, and we're moving on up fast, and everyone is threatened. I think we've come with a a meaning this season. We want to win. You know, we've been two years in a row second place. I don't think anyone's having it anymore. Because we're winning. That's why. We're not doing it the way they want us to do it. We've not uh, spent, you know, 500 million and broken, you know, 115 rules. We're winning. We're doing it the right way. Arteta's got us playing, you know, winning football and that's why they don't like it. You mentioned Man City. Obviously, we got the draw with 10 men. Seemed like all their players, all the staff wanted to talk about us after. A Man City rattled by us? We are completely under their skin. I've never seen them rattled like this before. Mm. Never. That whole competition with Liverpool, I'm pretty sure Klopp only beat Man City at their ground once. Once in his era in the league. So if they would have went there and done what we've done, maybe they would have won the league a bit more often. 100%. They are absolutely petrified of Arsenal. You can see it. They have never been more threatened by another Premier League team. And I include Liverpool in that. They are more threatened by us than any other team because we've got the capability to beat them. But it's quite interesting because Rodri touched on the fact that our mentality is poor for celebrating the draw, but it's the same Holland that went to Arteta to tell him to stay humble after he drew. And he did nothing after he scored, by the way. Of course they're rattled, mate. Of course they're rattled. Even Arteta came out speaking about Pep. Pep talking about, you know, Arteta, it's about war now. It's about war. I think we're starting to, you know, we're, we're, we're brushing shoulders with the big dogs here, innit? De Bruyne's out, Rodri's out. Rodri, you look at their record with Rodri, out, they struggle. So this season, the media, rival fans are labelled us as Dark Arts FC. What do you make of that tag that's been put on us? Doesn't matter. If we win, you know, Mourinho did it for years, won titles. No one was complaining at the end of the season when you're lifting the trophy. Uh, I, think, I think it fits us, really. <laughs> you know, you got, you got the, the red cartel and now you've got the Dark Arts FC. So I, I don't know, keep, keep the nicknames coming, man. We'll, we'll keep using them, especially when we know the titles. So many people saying, park the bus. What do you expect us to do when we're down to 10 men at the Etihad? Any other Premier League team gets massive praise for drawing that game. So Dark Arts FC, there's a load of nonsense. I say Expelliarmus, my brother. Expelliarmus, <laughs> innit? That's what I was saying. Expelliarmus, people. We're going to get on that. I'll come here. I'll get everyone. I'll start posting and saying, everyone come in the hats. You know, the, the wizardry hats. Come to the ground and wizardry hats. We celebrate being Dark Arts FC. I'll take it all day long. Can Arsenal, will Arsenal go in and win the league this season? 100%. We're going to win it this season. 100%. Teams do not have anything on us. Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City. We're going to win this season. Come on, you goners. So that is what the fans had to say. It's been a dramatic start to the season, though, hasn't it? It has been a little bit, yeah. I mean, some of the controversy that Arsenal have had this mm -hmm. season with the red cars and the yellow cars and kicking the ball away, but it's been a positive one, I think. I think and regardless of all the noise and outside and the dark hearts and the way Arsenal <laughs> are winning games, the most important thing is Arsenal are getting results. So for me, it's been dramatic, but it's been a very, very positive one. I keep asking myself, how, how did we get here regarding this dark art? I know. <laughs> I, 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 it's like I live in my own world or something. <laughs> when I come out of it, it's like, everybody hates us. Why is that? All we're trying to do is win, mm. you know? And is it okay just to lose badly? Is that what, is that what we were? I, I don't understand it. We shouldn't have to apologise for trying to be competitive, mm. you know? What we should be looking at is... Yeah, Man City have won, was it six out of seven league yeah. titles? Yeah. Yeah, for five in six a row. out of seven league titles. Mm. Is everybody happy with that? Or do they want people to compete with them? You know, so I don't quite get it, but um, maybe I'm the wrong person to ask, right? <laughs> How do you think the season's going? I think a lot of teams, a lot of the top teams do it when they have to, when they need to. You know, I remember a Man City game away at Atletico Madrid in the Champions League where it was nil-nil and they had to <laughs> hold on to the nil-nil and they played 11 men behind the ball in their box and were staying mm. on the floor a long, long time. So I'm not saying, I'm not singing out United, uh, City. I just think that there are times as good as you could be, as great as your players, mm. it's football, whether you're down to 10, 
or 11 against 11, under pressure, away from home especially. Sometimes this is what you have to do. And, I, you know, it's, I don't think Arsenal did anything really that outrageous either. <laughs> so I think, I think there's, yeah, there's a bit of that. There's a bit of people feeling rattled or feeling the threat more mm -hmm. than being rattled. I think it's feeling that Arsenal is growing very quickly and is getting better and better all the time. And as a club, as a team, everybody individually, like Darren said, improving, collectively improving. Arteta, as a coach, improving too. And I think a lot of people will feel like, oh, it's not good for us. That's the word. It's, it's the threat, isn't it? And actually, you've mentioned, Clive, that there's been a power shift. And it's interesting to see, obviously, what happened with City. You know, they were celebrating their goal, you know, getting one point against Arsenal. That, that's City celebrating one point against Arsenal. Yeah, I think the relationship has changed. The tone mm. of response has changed. Yeah. City players were queuing up in the mix zone, Jules, to, say, yeah. to have a word about how they felt Arsenal played. And that just means that we're serious. That They haven't beaten us the last four appearances now, four attempts. So we're, I'm not sure if it's power shift, but they can see that we are powerful. Mm. I think that's the thing. City are a big team. They found their way of playing, probably against us, actually. Remember when they turned up in the, in the home game and they were playing Blada Silva at left back. Remember, inverted yeah, yeah, left back. Yeah. At half time, yeah. they changed to Nathan Aki at half time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think they went on to win Champions League. Four centre backs at the back, powerful team. They sized up and they went on and won to treble. You know? mm -hmm. And so we are now as powerful. We're standing there, they're looking at us and thinking, OK, we're bigger mm -hmm. than them. We can look after the ball when we need to and we can compete with them. And I think, I'm not saying it's a power shift. You need to win something to say it's a power shift but we are a powerful team on the app for sure.